Welcome to In An Instant, my name is Ben, and today I am joined with... Pete Madden Jr. A lovely friend of the community, an instant shooter, and someone who has developed a very interesting method of peeling apart Polaroid black and white film to make transparencies. You get this see-through positive layer, the plastic layer that's on the top of a Polaroid, and you can do so many interesting things with it. We're gonna be experimenting today. Pete's gonna show us his methods. Are you just, should we just like... Let's rip it. You think we should rip it? Let's rip it. Let's do it. I mean, let's rip it. Right. A kind of photography that would become part of the human being. Press a button and have the picture. All right, so we are here in the In an Instant Studios getting funky with Polaroid transparencies. I think this is a really awesome way to sort of extend the experience and life of a Polaroid. Some people do emulsion lifts, experimental things where they're changing the physical structure of a Polaroid. And I think this is a very interesting way to do it because you're literally getting like another feature out of Polaroid that most people Absolutely. don't utilize. Absolutely, yeah, you're, you're basically creating your own peels for integral film. If you're missing the peel parts, this is another way to get a peel sensation while creating an entirely different object, you're creating a transparency, something that's only typically available with slide film. So there's a lot of interesting applications for that. You can stack transparencies. Stack them. You can layer them over different colored papers if you're trying to find that special duochrome color that hasn't been released yet. Exactly, you can make your own duochromes, which we're gonna do today. Um, we're also gonna do an eight by 10 transparency. We have some black and white film, uh, and that's like, to me, the, you know, upper the white echelon. whale. Yeah, yeah, this is the upper <laughs> echelon. Um, so Pete is gonna now show us how the heck to even do this because it is a very delicate process. You wanna make sure you're following these exact steps, otherwise you might mess up or get chemical residue on the photo. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do after you've waited five minutes for the exposure to come up to this nice darkness and you have the contrast, if you wait too long, the chemistry is actually drying to the positive and that's what creates these little speckles and imperfections. Take your razor knife and run it along the edge, just like this, being very careful. Just breaking up, breaking up that side border. And you're gonna do it on both sides. Then you're gonna take your blade, come all the way down to where the pods are, but be careful, because it's gonna be goopy. Slice around the corner, take it all the way across the street. And that reveals these two tabs, these two black tabs. You're gonna take your blade and score it just across. Make sure that you can go all the way up to the top here. And now you can peel the image from the chemicals that are still on the back, revealing a bend transparency. Based on your exposure, you'll get a much different look with your transparencies. When you get something like a brighter background, you can see through that much clearer. Like the deep blacks are what I'm looking for. Right. And I'm trying to think about what it will look like from uh, just a positive over the chemicals to just the positive. The way you need to think about shooting for this is that anything dark is the thing that you're gonna be getting in your final transparency. So if you have a white background, that's gonna be completely transparent. If you have a dark background, it's not gonna really accomplish the transparency effect. All right, Pete, now that you've shown us how to do this on like an elemental basic level and how to get one of these done right, what are we gonna do next? Taking multiple exposures, turning them into transparencies, and then stacking them to create one beautiful image. There's a lot of little techniques you can do with this, I think. Like, we're gonna do this with all the same exposure, but mm -hmm. you theoretically could do different exposures, different positions. Double exposures. Yep, you can, you can do a lot and just keep stacking. I think one of the cool things about this transparency concept is the amount of stuff you can do within the transparency concept. Absolutely. You can be placing these transparencies on other objects, but I think it's really cool to layer them and you get some crazy effects. Wow, that's that's sick. That's really cool. All right, so now that we're doing all these transparencies, one of the things I would really love to do is sort of a pseudo duochrome where we have four pictures paneled on different colors, kind of capturing the Andy Warhol spirit. So let's start scoring our first shot.
Okay, so Pete just took uh, this floral image. Uh, well, it's not, it's a picture of flowers. I wouldn't consider a floral image. Would you consider it a floral image? There's flowers in it. There's it's flowers floral. in it. And he's going to gold leaf it. Tell us what the heck that means. So you have your image, you have your gold adhesive, you have your paintbrush. You're gonna paint this on the back and it says you want it to dry about 15 minutes to 20 minutes till the, the glue becomes clear. Streaks from the bristles will create texture when you put on your gold leaf. A lot of people try and get the gold leaf onto the image. I don't, I do not do that. I try and stand over my image. I find where I wanna be and I place it right down. Just kind of pull it on top. Let's peel this off. Yep, we're gonna lose some because I didn't hit the adhesive on all of it. Oh, this is some gooey stuff. Wow, that looks really cool, like on its own. On its own, yeah. Your gold leaf will not stick anywhere that the adhesive is not, so you can flake that part off of your image. Now, let's reveal it, and that is my gold leaf flower bouquet. Let's go with my wedding ring. It does look good, <laughs> gold on gold. Humble brag. So this is the intermediate stage before we brushed off the gold, and honestly, like this looks incredibly cool on its own, but let, let's uh, let's go for it. Let's brush it off. The gold never looks as crisp through a scan. Yeah, it's kind of like the uh, metallic gold frames. Like it, it's never going to scan as well as it looks in person, but the texture is beautiful. This is like a really fun thing to play with. Okay, now we're gonna do the unthinkable. Something we've been wanting to do for, I would say, years. Try a transparency on Polaroid 8x10, one of the finest films ever produced, and we're gonna destroy one. But first, we have to load it. This is our holder. Close this guy up. And then we pull this through. This will reveal the negative inside the holder. And then we can load this into the camera and shoot it. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> what the hell? That is crazy. All right, well, that was quite an experience. I think we capped it off uh, in the best way possible with these 8x10 transparencies. I think these go kind of goofy. Um, what do you think, Pete? Absolute dummy. What was your first reaction to seeing this? Oh my gosh, absolute pure bliss and joy. It's crazy. It's it's crazy. I mean, this worked out like just significantly better than I think either of us could have even hoped. Yeah, it just goes to show you that the eight by ten chemicals are the exact same as what's yes. in the six hundred. Yeah. My mind wow. is melting. Well, Pete, thank you so much for coming by and uh, you know showing us the ropes on these transparencies. This is fantastic. Thanks for having me. Oh my god, I love you and I'm in love with you. <laughs> Likewise. Oh. Thank you for watching In An Instant. Go ahead and rub some goop all over that subscribe button. Stay tuned for more guides, shoots, tips, reviews, and all things instant. Bye.